Frack on. All right. So this one, we have a non-Marvel, and for the first time in a long time, a non-Marvel uh, episode. We're reacting to the Suicide Squad trailer. Can we finally get around to it? Like, we should do some DC stuff, as Tyler pointed out. All right, Tyler. So we're recording. We're, re we're, we're we are reacting to the latest Sui the Suicide Squad trailer. Are you ready, ready, to, uh, ready, Tyler? Yep. All right. And we are recording. We are hitting play in three, two, one, now. Robert Dubois. It is over the office and everything. For putting Superman in the ICU with a kryptonite bomb. Am I joining your suicide squad? We'll see. My court need is coming up. And Miss Waller said maybe you could help me out. You're stretching in my door! Everyone stand down. Miss Waller, I don't- Stand know. down! I wouldn't take such extreme measures if this mission weren't more important than you could possibly imagine. Are you in? Or out. Good. Let's meet your team. Dude, that Viola did with that team is gonna be awesome. Each member is chosen for his or her own completely unique set of abilities. Hey guys, sorry I'm late. Let's go number two. Good to know. Oh my god. <laughs> is this thing a dog? A dog? What kind of dog do you think it is, mate? I'm gonna go with Afghan Hound. Oh my god, is it a werewolf? Yo, they stop me this a werewolf! Yo, let me out! Yeah, he's not a werewolf, okay? He's a weasel. He's harmless. I mean, he's not harmless. He's killed 27 children, but, you know. Your mission Dude, that's weird. They're using Marvel. is to destroy using Marvel every to trace movie. of something known only as Project Starfish. Any questions? Starfish? This is a slang term for a butthole. If there's any connection? <laughs> no. No. Alright. Let's get it. Yes, sorrow. Oh, well, that's kind of our thing. I'm a superhero! my dad. I'm gonna get you out of here alive. I'm going to get you out of here alive. Ratatouille, what do you got? Bird. <laughs> now, now, <laughs> stay off the comp. Is that, isn't that Vin Diesel too? No, that's uh, Sylvester Stallone as uh, as um. Oh, Stallone! Wow, right? there's a Guardians connection. Exactly. I mean, but here's the thing: this looks a thousand times better than the last one we got. No offense to um that director, I forgot his name. David. Oh, David Ayer. David Ayer. David Ayer. David Ayer. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, I think it's. Who did like, Fury? Is cool. like super surprising because like Fury was amazing. Um, I heard there was just a lot of studio interference. I love Fury, but this one looks way better. This one looks like a lot more fun. The fact that you're bringing in Star, I'm like, you're bringing in Star to fight Suicide Squad? That makes perfect sense to me. Um, it's weird because it's like a reboot, but not a reboot because they're bringing back Viola Davis, Joel Eagleton, yeah. Margot Robbie. Yeah. And that's it, right? Yeah, it's very, very little of the original cast, but I agree with every return that is being returned from the original yeah. cast. Yeah. Uh, so soft reboot, I guess. Yeah, totally. Um, and I think we should just take a moment to appreciate the visual stunningness of the trailer. James Gunn has a gift, man. Um, I, I'm super stoked for this. Um, well, the original, I hated the original Suicide Squad, which, by the way, has an Oscar, and I hate that, or was nominated for an Oscar. And I it, hate won an Oscar. It, it won an Oscar. It won, it won an Oscar was, against, or, against Star Trek. And I'm like, are you oh. kidding me? Because wow. Star Trek, they, they were, I'm like, so I have to make aliens from scratch, you know? And then you, the, they won because of, like, who was it? Killer, Killer Croc. Croc? I'm like, that's yeah. your... Best makeup. I'm like, are you kidding me? Yes, best right. makeup. I'm like, are you? No. And no. not a single MCU film has an Oscar other than, like, visual effects, I think. And this is why I watch the Oscars anymore. Because it's, it's, all, it's all, well, when I was in film school, take a shot. I got over it, too. I'm like, I knew, I'm like, oh, it's all politics. I remember, I listened to the podcast. And he was talking about how his 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 uh, the guy's husband 
like he was in the meeting and he goes like what about this movie he goes like no i couldn't close the deal with this guy so fuck him he just said like frack that guy like no so it's all about politics it's not even about the art it's about so right. I'm like, oh frack the oscars so yeah but, yeah i i know like half a dozen um academy members too and it's very political um often it's like oh i know this guy so he's getting my vote um yeah very very political uh so standouts for me in the trailer uh i love this scene in the aquarium where like um harley quinn is in the water and like uh, that's just um that's awesome um and then a call out to uh i've heard that the beginning of this movie is like the saving private ryan of the dcu <laughs> and i'm super stoked for that uh saving private ryan in my opinion is one movie the the movie the biggest movie to ever get snubbed by the oscars because it you know it wasn't even nominated for best picture i think no so, it, it, it won uh, a bunch but it, i think it lost again it lost to shakespeare in love but again right. it's all about campaigning it's all about how you want to campaign i'm like again that's yep. why i don't care about the oscars anymore i'm like it's all okay. yep and spielberg doesn't campaign that you know he doesn't he just doesn't care about it because he's he's awesome like that uh stand um, out for you sir Stand out for me that first scene where we see uh, Idris Elba acting his ass off against um, Viola Davis, I'm like, this sure, is amazing. What? Oh, anytime Idris Elba's angry, I'm like, oh, that's Stringer Bell from The Wire. That's like his victory <laughs> role. No, dude, but like, he just like, it's amazing, dude. I'm like, this is like, oh my God, this is what the movie's about. Like, it's about redemption. It's about family. It's kind of what I'm seeing. Compared to the last one, the last one, like, what was the theme of that movie? Like, family? Uh, like, no, the last movie was green energy beams in the sky. They had to stop. Oh my god, that was so stupid. That was so dumb. That was so dumb. I hated that. Um, but yeah, I thought, yeah. I really want to see the movie. I, I think I might see the movie in theaters too. Yeah, oh yeah, and uh, cast, big cast, big huge yeah, cast. Yeah, big cast. Really excited. Flula Boric, who um, is one of my favorite like European figures. He's a, a DJ out of Germany. Who is this? Uh, Who are they playing? Uh, I forget the name of the uh, actor. The guy in yellow with like the staff. Mm. Um, and um, he, he's hilarious. You should follow him on YouTube. Um, um, no, no money's being sent to me in that plug, but um, he's a very funny European DJ out of Germany. Uh, and he's going to be great in this movie, I anticipate. Um, I liked John Cena. I'm not a, like, I'm not a big, like, I don't have anything against John Cena. I think he's funny. I think he's a great actor. He's an okay actor. He's a fine actor. But when he goes like, is this slang for, is this star for, is this slang for a sex scene? No. <laughs> Thank I'm you, like, James Gunn, for that writing, by the way. What's up? Did James Gunn write this? Too? Yeah, he wrote it, yeah. yeah was, th that's so James Gunn. It feels like James Gunn, dude. Like, it feels like, James, like it's just drenching with James Gunness. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I'm excited, and I just can't hide it. Just da, 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 da. I don't want to. Don't want to. All right. Any final comments? Any final thoughts? Uh, I'm uh stoked about this Viola Davis coming back, and it's somewhat redemptive for James Gunn because James Gunn was already slated for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two when he was ousted from Disney for a little bit. This was no. This was after like he had just finished, and then yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. he was already it was already on, on its way out. So this is like his first big movie he's making um, after the whole debacle. Um, so it's like James Gunn's re redemption movie. He's coming back to Guardians like within like I think they're filming this year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in November I think. That sounds about right. All right, dude. All right. Well, thank you for joining. Thank you for for for, uh, for doing this. We'll see you same freaking time, same freaking channel. Frack off.